Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Rebecca, and while I am typically doing reselling content because I'm a stay-at-home mom and an online reseller, this video is actually a product review, I guess. I am in my mom's car because my car's battery died on me this morning. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that uh, it's just, you know, that's not a great way to start your day. But I wanted to come on here to review the cordless vacuum that I did a, um, like an unboxing for, uh, what was that? I guess a few months ago now at this point, but it is called the Tineco A11 Pet and it's a cordless vacuum cleaner. I had a pretty good unboxing experience, like it worked really well and everything, but I am actually sitting outside of, um, it's like a shipment place. It's <laughs> They ship packages here because I am shipping it back. So here's why. Okay, so I started using this, um, this vacuum cleaner like the beginning of November. It worked great for about a month. It is a pet vacuum. So the main reason I got it is because I have long hair and my hair gets tangled around the brushes of a lot of vacuum cleaners. So I did not have any issues with tangling. It worked great exactly the way it was supposed to. It worked great on my carpets. It worked great on my hardwoods or we have like laminate, you know, I call it the hardwood, whatever. It worked great. Um, and then about a month in, I started having issues. Now the issue is really weird, but basically every time I would turn it to full power, so it had three different power modes. It had um, like a low power for the hardwood floors and then like a medium power and then high power like a high suction. So every time I would use this high suction for my carpet, it would, within like a few seconds, it would just like shut off and it would tell me my battery was dead, even though it was fully charged when I started. And then I wait a few seconds and then it would, um, it would turn like every, if I turned it back on, it would say I have full battery again. Okay. So I actually just got interrupted because my husband called because we were trying to sort out the whole battery issue with the car. It's just been one of those days but anyway so yes the when i would change it to high suction it would basically kill the battery or tell me it was dead so it'd stop running and then anytime i even used the low power it would just randomly switch between suction powers it'd be like and then shut off again like i don't know what the deal was but that's what would happen so that was about a month in and because I bought it off Amazon, it had that like three months to return it, the return or refund, whatever. So first I was like, I'm going to contact the company. Hopefully they can just like send me a new one. I can send them the old one, whatever. So I send them a message, which I thought I had sent through Amazon, but I guess I had gone to the company website, which is Tineco, um, and contacted them through there. Now I did contact them through like email message or whatever. And... I don't know where Tineco is, but as most customer services are, it, it was foreign, which is one of the reasons I didn't call them because that's always a pain in the butt. And I also like to have like paper, you know, like a paper trail. So literally for two months through like December and January, I was going back and forth with messages with Tineco and they were like, you know, first they're like, oh, we think it's a filter problem. We'll send you a new filter. And I was like, in the back of my head, I'm like, it is not a filter problem. Like there's no reason this would be a filter problem and it comes with two filters anyway and I tried both of them and it didn't do anything but they send me a new one so now I have three filters it didn't fix the problem and keep in mind I also like maintenance the entire vacuum through their manual prior to contacting them to see if that would fix the problem and it didn't so then these two months were this them being like try this we think this is the problem and I tried it. I'm like, nope, still doesn't work. And they're like, okay, we think it's a clog. I'm like, it's not a clog. I'm like, I fixed, I cleaned it. There's nothing going on. Like, uh, I don't know. So they were prompt with responses, but I feel like their customer service was lacking in the part that I'm like, I only use this for a month and there's something wrong with your machine. I am not like a vacuum repairman. Like I should not have to be doing so many like it was like 10 iterations of like take this off plug this in see if that fixes it take this off clean it here's how to clean it and i'm like no i've already done all this crap and it's not working so there was never a point even when i told them i was gonna have to return it to amazon there was never a point when they were like 
okay, we're going to send you a shipping label so you can ship it back to us and we can figure out what's wrong with it. We'll send you a replacement one or whatever. They never went through that. <sighs> anyway, so I ended up contacting Amazon like a week ago or so. And for whatever reason, I guess... I, this is why I say I guess I must have contacted Tineco through their website initially because Amazon was like, we can't see any of the messages that you guys have been having back and forth. So then I had to message Tineco again through um, like Amazon's contact the manufacturer page or whatever. So I did that and it was just like a whole process almost starting over with Tineco of like and I told them, I was like, look, here's what's going on. I've been contacting you via this email, gave them my email address. So in the hopes that they would like go back and check it, which I don't know if they did. They probably didn't, but it was more of this, try this, clean this. And I was just like, look, I have till like today is January. What is it? January 24th. I had till the end of January to return it via Amazon because of their return policy. And I, um, at this point didn't even like feel confident that I was like they're not even gonna be able to like send me a replacement part and me try it and like all that before it's time for me to return this and this was like not cheap for me like it's 280 bucks roundabout so I wasn't about to like be out 280 dollars so I contacted Amazon again and I was like I want to return this basically yeah so that's where I am now I'm going to return it and of course because it worked great for like a whole month I threw away all the packaging I told Amazon I was like I don't have any of the original packaging and they're like that's fine just make sure it's like packaged properly so being a reseller I have tons of boxes and I was like I can try to like franken box a box to like put multiple boxes together because it originally came in like a decent sized box and I don't have one quite that size but we have this place near us that um they will ship like post office they'll ship fedex ups they do taxes they do all kinds of stuff and one of the things they do is packaging so i called them and i was like i have a stick vacuum and i need it packaged um like how much would this cost and they're like it shouldn't cost more than 20 bucks and i'm like at this point i am willing just to pay the 20 bucks get it packaged properly and me not have to deal with it send it back to amazon they said they'll give me a full refund once they receive it so that is the plan. So my review is that it worked great for what I wanted it to and at a great price point when I got it. But then it stopped working properly a month in, which I haven't heard anyone else say this. And then customer service was like so-so. Like they were responsive, but they weren't doing what they should have in my opinion. And you can have your own opinion and you can let me know below if you think I should have just had to keep going back and forth with them. Or if you think they should have at this point been like, send it back, we'll send you a new one or send it back, we'll give you a refund or whatever. But I just felt like they weren't performing like proper customer service at that point after going back and forth for like two months. So yeah, so would I recommend them? I don't know. Honestly, I feel like I just got a defective machine and I almost wanted to get another one of the same kind because it worked so well for that month for what I needed. But I just don't really want to deal with Tineco again. So I don't know. Um, I'm going to go buy a new one, a new stick vacuum today. And, you know, my my husband has been like, why get a stick vacuum or like cordless? He's like, just get one that plugs in. But the thing is, we have little kids, right? We have a four-year-old and almost two-year-old. So we still have outlet plugs in all of our outlets. So and we have an old house that's not an open floor plan. So every time I would vacuum, I would have to constantly be switching outlets because they're not gonna flow from one to the other. And every time I use an outlet, I have to pull the plug out. And I'm just like not willing to do that at this point. <laughs> Maybe if I have another failed stick vacuum, cordless vacuum, then I'll do that. But at this point, I'm gonna try another cordless. I'm looking at the Wise one, it's W-Y-Z-E. Um, there, there's supposedly is one at Walmart for like 120 bucks and which is kind of cheaper the other two i'm looking at um there's a samsung and a shark but one is like 260 and one is 280 and i'm kind of tired of spending money at this point so i'm just going to try the one that's 120 bucks hopefully i have to see what like their return policy is at walmart or with the manufacturer manufacturer um yeah so let me know if you've used this Tineco or this pet you know i was gonna do like a six month review or something but we didn't make it that far so yeah I don't know let me know your uh, thoughts below and um, if you like reselling content 
feel free to subscribe and hang out because uh, that is the majority of what my channel is. I just had done this review and unboxing because, I don't know, I wanted to. And that's what YouTube's about, right? Making videos you want to. But if you found this video helpful at all, please give it a like. And uh, I hope to see you in some future videos.